Mike Farley. We're in Flower Mound, Texas tonight, and I did not think we were going to be filming because it poured down rain. So what did I do? I didn't bring a shirt with a collar, so there's no place to hook a uh, microphone on, so we're just going to do it like this. So there's a cool detail on this project, which has to do with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of swimming pools on safety and where do you put the pool and how do you make it safe for the, our family because we're going to have three or four or five kids over a 10 year period of time and we've got to figure out how this is going to work so there's a couple of different theories first theory is we're going to put the pool in the back and fence it off and then we're going to have a lawn in front of the pool so the kids can go out and safely play in the lawn and not get in the pool area but then we're disconnected from the pool and we can't interact with people at the pool uh, so the other way is we're going to put the pool close and we're going to put a fence around it uh, and we're going to have to walk around the pool area to get to the play area behind now that's hard because we're kind of disconnected from the kids playing so we came up with a solution on this particular project and this has everything to do with design okay this project was designed for this family it's not going to meet your needs, but it met their needs and the fact that they wanted to walk in the front door and look through the windows of the family room and look the length of the pool. So we've got this nice deep lot that it, the pool seems in scale with it. So in our family room, as we look out, we see the pool and the grotto and the airplanes flying over. Those were a lot of fun, huh? Lots of planes, especially if your son-in-law is a pilot. Okay, so we look across from the family room. We can see the spa with the spillways coming out. We can see the tanning ledge with the gushers. We can see the grotto with the spillway. Can we see the slide? Barely see the slide. So the slide's not screaming, slide is my focal point. Uh, we're saying water features and the pool is the thing to look at. But we can still see the kids when they come off the slide into the pool. And then behind that, we sit the cabana and we can barely see the edge of the fire pit. So we have two different zones. Uh, we have a kid zone. So we're gonna come out of the door we're going to walk across the porch and we're going to go into the kids zone and over in the kids zone we've got the trampoline we've got the playhouse we've got the slides you know what we can see all that from in the family room in the kitchen okay and the uh, workout room and the master bedroom so we got good visibility of all that kids got a lot of area to play football and you know run around and be kids and then we have the other side which is the pool side so we took the fence across here and ran it along the edge of the whole pool area. Uh, we, we did use straight panels, uh, so it wasn't a custom curved fence. Uh, but the landscaping is going to soften that as time grows on. And we're going to have the pool zone, and we're going to have the kids zone. Now, when will that fence come down in this yard? Probably in 10 years. It's going to be up a long time because we've got little kids, and there's going to be more little kids. And so we want something that's going to work really good for a family. When they fly by in the plane. Guess what, we're on the flight path to DFW. Did you know that? Yeah. Okay, bye everybody. So, we've got a pool that's got a deep end because we've got kids and we want to wear them out so they're gonna, there's no diving board or jumping rock. They're just gonna jump down into the deep end. And we've got a huge tanning ledge for keep people to hang out. We've got an oversized spa. We've got a slide, we've got a grotto. This is all about family use. Okay, so the other thing is, where does the furniture go? Well, actually, the furniture is on back order still and we didn't want to wait to film the video. So we're filming today anyway. But see where the furniture, the table is gonna go off to the side. So when you look out of the primary light sight line where the camera's set up here, you're not gonna see the table blocking the view of your pool. Where's the lounge chairs go? Oh, they go over to the other side. So again, not blocking our lines of sight going out to the pool. Oh, where's another table go? Oh, down in the cabana. Does that block our lines of sight? No, it does not. So we've kept the lines of sight open for the furniture. Uh, we've kept a, a real kid-friendly environment here. We've created safety where we've got play area and swim area all in one backyard. Now, how did this happen? Well, it was designed this way. Okay, we didn't pull a template out of our computer and figure all this out. This had to be designed for this house, for this family, and for what they wanted. So, if you want safety, these are some things you may want to consider. The other thing is, if you want to look at another plane, there they go. 
they're like on clockwork, like every minute. We'll have to time it and see how close they come to each other. So, if you want safety, you have it. If you want play areas for your kids in a swim area, you have it. If you want a great view from inside the house, because you're going to look at it all the time, you have it. So, what is it? Uh, this is a very safe, family-friendly environment. So. Uh, if this was helpful, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. If it uh, was great, share it with your friends. Uh, and if you have other questions, post them below. We'll answer those, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you. This is Mike Farley coming from Flower Mound, Texas. You all have a great night. Bye. I'm going to be here.